The Pagan Origin of Mother's Day Jesus Christ says in John chapter 8, verse 32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Goddess Rhea Some historians believe that the first celebration of Mother's Day was the ancient spring festival dedicated to the Greek mother goddess Rhea. The ancient Greek empire celebrated a spring festival honoring Rhea, sister and wife of Kronos, and the mother of the Greek gods Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. In ancient Greece and Rome, a tribute was celebrated in honor of Rhea, who was regarded as the mother of the gods, according to ancient Greek and Roman mythologies. Both Greek and Roman mythologies have always shared many similarities. The Roman goddess Cybele is the equivalent of the Greek goddess Rhea. Gods associated with the goddess Rhea. In Greek mythology, there were many deities or gods because the Greeks considered themselves polytheists. That is, they believed in many gods and in many goddesses. During the reign of the Greek Empire, polytheism prevailed in social classes within the empire because their gods made by human hands were very important to them. The Greeks believed in different gods because it was part of their Greek culture. They were polytheists. They believed in multiple gods. However, these are the gods that were associated with the goddess Rhea. Kronos, Rhea's brother and husband, father of Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus. He devoured his own children. This pagan god is associated with the Roman god Saturn, other names for Satan. Zeus. In Greek mythology, he is the father of the gods and men, son of Rhea and Kronos. Hera's husband and brother, also the brother of Hades and Poseidon. In Roman mythology, he was Jupiter, other names for Satan. Poseidon. In Greek mythology, he is the god of the seas and earthquakes, son of Rhea and Kronos, brother of Hades and Zeus. In Roman mythology, he was the god Neptune, other names for Satan. Hades. In Greek mythology, he is the god of the underworld, another name for hell, son of Rhea and Kronos, brother of Demeter, Hestia, Hera, Zeus, and Poseidon. In Roman mythology, he was Pluto, other names for Satan. The Goddess Cybele. The Roman Empire always celebrated Mother's Day in the form of a festival dedicated to Cybele, a Roman goddess. The ceremonies in her honor began centuries before Jesus Christ dwelled on earth. The Romans named the celebration Ilaria after adopting it from the Greeks. It was celebrated during the March equinox in Cybele's temple for three days. Plaza de Cibeles in Madrid, Spain is a monument dedicated to the Roman goddess Cybele. The Spanish adopted it from the Romans and they still hold celebrations in her honor. The Queen of Heaven. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 18 says, The children gather wood, the fathers kindle fire, and the women knead dough to make cakes for the Queen of Heaven. And they pour out drink offerings to other gods to provoke me to anger. The Roman Catholic Church adopted all of these pagan celebrations to honor their own Virgin Mary, which they regard as the Queen of Heaven. On December 8, 1854, the dogma of Immaculate Conception to honor the Virgin Mary was proclaimed by Pope Pius IX. It's also the date that the Roman Catholic Church adopted for the celebration of what they regard as the definitive truth that Mary was born free of original sin. The Romans adopted multitudes of religious and pagan customs from the Greeks, Babylonians, and other civilizations. Even after Christianity arrived in Rome, they mixed it in with paganism. Semiramis, the goddess of a thousand names. Mother's Day is a pagan and satanic celebration that worships the goddesses Rhea, Cybele, and Virgin Mary, which are representations of Semiramis, who together with Nimrod created the Babylonian religious mystery, which is promoted today shamelessly by the religious institution known as Roman Catholic Church, which also promotes other pagan holidays. Semiramis is known by many different names in all of the world's religions. This is why many cultures call her goddess of a thousand names. The Mother's Day holiday is known as Mother's Day in reference to goddess Rhea of Greek mythology, who is another representation of the Babylonian goddess Semiramis. To celebrate it unknowingly or knowingly is to commit transgression against the word of God that wisely warns us in Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. 
This is a celebration directed exclusively to honor Semiramis, the mother goddess of all goddesses, who today is also known as the Virgin Mary. Anna Marie Jarvis, the mother of Mother's Day. The Modern History of Mother's Day. The Mother's Day holiday was created by Anna Marie Jarvis with help from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania merchant John Wanamaker after her mother's death, Anna Reeves Jarvis, on May 9, 1905. On May 12, 1907, Anna Marie Jarvis commemorated and organized a Mother's Day in honor of her deceased mother. Finally, in 1914, President Woodrow Wilson declared a second Sunday of May Mother's Day in the United States. Later, it expanded to other countries that adopted it. Mother's Day is celebrated around the world at different times of the year, depending on the country. Its contemporary origin is attributed to Mother's Friendship Day and to Mother's Day meetings, organized by Anna Marie Jarvis, when the mothers always met to exchange opinions on different current issues. Anna was born on May 1, 1864 in Webster, West Virginia, and died on November 24, 1948 in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Although Julia Ward Howe had written her famous Mother's Day proclamation, Anna Marie Jarvis is recognized as the founder of this pagan holiday and as the mother of Mother's Day. Is Mother's Day a pagan celebration? Did you know that most of the holidays were introduced into the world through the Roman Catholic Church? This satanic institution uses the names of Jesus Christ and Mary to promote its lies. The Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 4, You adulterous people, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Jesus Christ teaches us in Matthew chapter 15, verse 9, But in vain do they worship me, teaching as their doctrines the precepts of men. The Lord is very clear in his teachings. There are no excuses for people who choose lies. According to many archaeological investigations and the research of many historians, Mother's Day is originally of pagan origin belonging entirely to ancient civilizations that dedicated their festivals, offerings, and sacrifices to their gods. Primarily, it was dedicated to an ancient goddess, Semiramis, from whom the other goddesses originate. It is a deceptive celebration that contains dark and unknown mysteries. The mother is to be honored every day and not on a specific date in order to give her gifts. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long in the land which Jehovah thy God giveth thee. The word of God exhorts us, to honor father and mother every day, and not on a specific date. God demands that we honor them with respect and love every day of our lives while on earth. Mother's Day is a satanic festival created by ancient peoples to worship a goddess. It is a very ancient form of worship. Over the centuries, many different goddesses have emerged from all these ancient peoples, but they are all the same goddess with many different names, and Mother's Day is associated with each of them. Centuries later, the Roman Catholic Church created the Virgin Mary myth. In Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 7, Jehovah teaches, You shall have no other gods before me. Celebrating Mother's Day is a great abomination against him, because worship is rendered unto demons, and the mother becomes an object of idolatry. The Bible teaches us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21, Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. Ye cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Jesus Christ says in Matthew chapter 15, verse 8, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Romans chapter 1, verse 25 says, For that they exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Celebrating Mother's Day is an abomination to Jehovah God because the mother is to be honored every day of our lives while she is present with us and not on a specific date. Christians should not celebrate pagan holidays. Do not celebrate Mother's Day because it is a pagan and satanic holiday. Thus says Jehovah God. Amen. Dear friend, I invite you to receive Jesus Christ as your only Savior. He says in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. Acts chapter 16 verse 31 says, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Accept Jesus Christ today. 
pause the video on the next page and say the prayer audibly.